Where are we? Teaching Fender Abrams. I'm going to use them to show relationships between two sets. I want to interpret a Fender Abram that is showing the relationship between two sets. So now the first relationship I'd like to explain is the, the complement of a set. Depicted by complement of a set, sorry. Let's say we have um, a set P. How do we depict the complement of set set? So I have this set P represented by this circle and this rectangle depicts the universal set but our P complement or P superscript C which means everything present in the universal set but not in P. Now this is a Venn diagram. The universal set is this rectangle. This is this set P. Everything in P is enclosed by a circle. That means everything present in this universal set but not in P is this area that I'm trying to shade to that with the, the color blue. So everything outside of P but inside of this rectangle is your P complement. So how do we show intersection of sets? Supposing we have two sets S and C, S representing people who play uh, soccer and um, T representing people who play tennis. Now this shape, this circle represents every element present in soccer and T represents every element present in uh, tennis. So now was it, let's say S intersection T or T intersection S. Intersection in the Venn diagram is usually depicted by the overlapping of the two shapes. Oh now this is where we have because intersection means what is common to the two sets. Now this region of overlapping this area contains elements con con common to S and T, which means people will play soccer and tennis. Um, so we can label this region S intersection T or T intersection S. So supposing we are trying to show um, S intersection T complement. Well, when you are trying to depict relationships on very paragraph, like first try to make the meaning of whatever relationship you are trying to express. S intersection T complement means element common to s and element common to element present in the universal set but not in t because that's the meaning of uh, t complement now this region is our s intersection t what's common to the two of them now everyone that plays uh, soccer is included expressed with the shape now every element every person that plays soccer but does not play tennis will obviously be in this region and that's the meaning of a T complement which means something present in our universal set but not in T and that will be in this region because we are saying the intersection of S with T complement so this region is our S intersection T complement. Likewise, we can also have T intersection S complement or what we can say T difference P which means element present in T but not in P. This also can be written as S difference T which means element present in S but not in T. So the element present in um, S in T rather but not in S Will be this region outside there the intersection of the two sets so this region i have dotted red is a t intersection s complement or t difference p so union of set what does union means union means element contained in the two sets so our s union t or what we can say T union uh, 
till you know s whichever way you want to go it means element contained in the two sets it's s and t which will be every element in these two shapes this two circle so we can decide to shade her the entire or you can dot it as i've been dotting so s you know t or t you know s is the element contained in both s and t you know like we said s you know t will be element present in s or element present in t or element present in s intersection t contained in the two of them now the next one will be uh, element uh, union of complement so let's say intersection and we say s union t complement or we can write this as s complement intersection t complement what we are trying to say is s union t means element present in the universal set but not present in either of these two and that's the same thing as S complement is T complement because S complement means element present in the universal set but not in S. T complement means element present in the universal set but not in T. So an intersection of the two will obviously be the union of uh, the, the complement of both. So let's say our two show that. So we have a universal set represented by uh, this rectangle. Sorry, this is too close. We have a universal set represented by this uh, rectangle. My hand is not straight. So this is the universal set. So what is our S union T complement? Everything present in the universal set, but not in either of these two. That would be outside the region, outside of the two shape. So this region is our S union T complement. Or we can say S complement intersection T complement. So we can also have this join set. This join means element a set that have nothing in common. So suppose we have a set A containing days of the week that start with M, and a set B containing days of the week that starts with uh, W. This obviously will be Wednesday, and this will be monday there's no relationship they have no nothing in common so these two sets can be said to be this joint set so we can also have a um, subset of the ratio that's in the venn diagram now supposing we have our uh, sets this time around let's have a set s containing days of the week and we have another set uh, y containing days of the week that starts with uh, t now this set contains every x contains days of the week from Monday to Monday till Sunday, and the y contains days of the week that starts with t. And that's just Tuesday and Thursday. These two elements can be found in x, so we can say that um, y is a subset of x. That's how to show it because. All of y can be found in x. S contains y. And that's all about Venn diagrams and relationship with yourself. Watch out for more videos. Thank you.